Hi, uh, this is Kish, and today we are going to talk about how boarding school changed my life. Um, so, my father died uh, on 98 October 4th at 3 p.m. Actually, October is my birthday month. Um, after burial and everything else, uh, I got the opportunity to go to a boarding school. I mean, I have always wanted to go to a boarding school. It was because of a stupid reason, or stupid <laughs> reasons. Um, so I used to watch, you know, my sisters pack, you know, the things that they carried to boarding school, like, like juice, <laughs> biscuits. And I wanted those, but then the most important thing that I wanted was not to share a bed. I mean, those who come from from a big family, you know what I'm talking about because there is six of us. And so my brother and I and my mom took a bus to Kisumu. Um, so the, the school, the boarding school is private, which was good. Um, uh, <clears throat> everything was kind of perfect and the food was really nice. It was better than what we eat at home. And, you know, the whole environment was nice. The school was beautiful and I got my own bed and my... <laughs> And my, my classmates were also really nice. Um, the teachers were really friendly as well. And um, the head teacher actually was one of the best. And he he kind of reminded me of my father because he, he was really friendly and he pushed me to, to be my best academically. I mean, I have always been a good student, uh, a good student. Um, so, you know, academically, I was, my performance was really good. And yes, I wanted to really, you know, uh, do my best and get into a good high school. Um, so, you know, sometimes he would call me to his office and just, you know, talk to me, advise me and, and, and push me to be better than everyone else uh, and he always reminded me that you know um, right now I have to especially do my best and please and you know make my mother proud which was something that I really wanted um, so you know uh, he used to call other other students as well you know to talk to them advise them you know, he basically pushed all of us to be our best. And um, so uh, this one time we did the, after I think after a month, a month or so, I don't remember. Uh, so we did the CATS, uh, which is continuous assessment test. Um, Kenyans, if you're a Kenyan, you know what I'm talking about. And yeah, and I became the best girl. And that was really good. And but then I wanted to still be one of the best. I wanted to be the best. And um, so the goal was to be the best. And <clears throat> so yeah, it, it's funny because sometimes uh, a head teacher would come to, you know, to the window to just, you know, see what we are doing, you know, whether we are making noise or, or we are studying or, you know, so if you are doing something wrong, he would actually call you out and um, you will get a lecture of your life. <laughs> yeah, so, you know, this one night he called me to his office and I went because, you know, he would call, you know, some of us at night. It was it was just, you know, an innocent thing. So I went. Um, so how, you know, the office was when you enter, there is um, the secretary's office and then his office. So when I came in, uh, the secretary's office, the lights 
uh, in the secretary's office were on, but the lights in his office were off. I found it strange, but then I didn't think about it. I mean, <laughs> come on, you know. Uh, so I went, I entered his office and um, he started talking to me, obviously, you know, the usual thing. And I was like, yeah, yeah, yeah. And then he grabbed my hand and uh, I, di I didn't know, like, what do I do? I was 12 years old. I, I didn't know, what, like, how do I, what do I do? And so he m pushed me or rather uh, moved me towards him. And I, I don't remember how it happened, but he sat me on his lap. and took advantage of me and I lost I lost my childhood I lost the most important thing to to any girl or any woman you want to give it willingly and um, not being taken up taken away from you And after that, he he sent me back to class. Yeah, uh, he sent me back to class, and I remember being very confused and and dissociated. Like I I, I was I wasn't there. Like I was in a shock that I kind of depersonalized and 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 kind of separated myself from myself myself and when I went to class I did not know whether I went to class or I was imagining that I went to class and I just sat there and I put my head on the desk and I I, I, I I didn't know what happened I didn't I uh, how do I put it I I thought I was dreaming I I didn't know what was happening. I was so confused and um, I was out of my body, basically. It was a horrible experience for for me. I was I was only twelve years old. And um, it was uh, a <laughs> that night was the longest night i didn't sleep i didn't sleep a wink and the next day i had to go to class anyways um <clears throat> if you want to hear more about this story i will continue in our next in the next video so stay tuned uh you can also subscribe um or send me a message at uh, kish at gmail.com. Kish is K-I-S-H at gmail.com. I hope to hear more from you, any comments, um, your stories. And again, if you're interested in hearing more of that journey, join me in the next video. Bye for now.